Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT. In today's class, we are going to learn a topic called Arduino if statements. Okay. So let's see what are the if statements as well as if else as, as well as else if. Okay. So how they are differing from one another, we are going to see in today's class. So coming to the Arduino if statement, generally the if statement is a conditional statement okay so which is a based for all the types of programming language if you take any kind of programming language without this particular if statement there won't exist almost any kind of logic okay so how this if statement will be there this particular statement will be based on two things one is true or false okay if the condition in the code is true the corresponding or the particular task or a function is performed, uh, which is linked to that particular if condition. And it returns a particular value if the condition of the program is true. Okay. Or else it returns another value if the condition of the program is false. Okay. So it means the if statement or if condition checks the condition, then execute the statement according to the particular statement. So if you see a uh, basic logic of that flow of that. So once you start, okay, it goes to the condition. If the condition is true, okay, it goes to the condition statement and gets executed. If the condition is false, okay, it again goes to an or overcome that particular conditional statement and it goes executing with another uh, instructions. Okay. So if you see a example of an uh, program here we are initializing two variables with two values a equal to 6 b equal to 4 and in the void setup and the void loop okay uh, in the void loop we have taken if condition okay if a is greater than b so we need to serial print a is greater than b okay and if b is greater than a we need to serial print b is greater than a okay so which is a uh, greater value or the bigger value a has the bigger value right so a equal to 6 will be uh, greater as this is greater okay what will be printed in that particular thing means a is greater than b will be printed on this particular screen okay now coming to the Arduino if else or else if the else and else if both are used after specifying the if statement only okay it allows multiple conditions to be grouped okay now let's see if else so this if else condition includes if statement as well as else statement okay so if you see the condition over here once you start the logic it goes to a condition if the but if that particular condition is true okay the statements inside that particular if will be executed and if the condition is false the statement inside the else will be executed okay at the end both will be going so if condition okay in the under the if condition there will be a statement else there will be a statement okay if condition if it becomes true the statement under the if gets executed or else the statement under the else get executed okay now consider else if. So the else if statement can be used with or without the else. Okay. So we can also include multiple else if statements in a program. So this is how the syntax will be if condition with some statements, else if condition with some statements. If both are false, else it goes to the another statement. So let's see one of the examples. If int is equal to int i equal to 2, j equal to 3, and we have a loop, if i is greater than j, okay, we need to execute or print like i is greater. Else if i is less than j, we need to print j is greater. Okay, if both are false, that means else we should uh, say or print both are equal. Okay, but according to the logic which is uh, greater i equal to 2, j equal to 3, okay. So, j is greater than i, okay. So, that will be printing in the output. Mm -hmm. 